Let's learn how to do wildcard search in database using Python. This allows you to enter part of what you are searching for and the system suggests the rest. All we'll do now is that is to edit the, the previous file. We'll just copy and paste that. So we we'll edit it. We'll call this one retrieve data three. So as you can see. All right, so once you have that open, then we'll uh, modify it as follows. Okay, so what we'll do now is that, you know, instead of just uh, saying you should enter name, I mean, you should enter ID. So now we we'll say enter name. So it's going to enter part of the name. This user will enter part of the name and the system will search the entire thing out. So this is a white card search. So by using a like in the SQL command. All right, so enter name. All right, so let's just put a little label at the top here. So we just say print. So we'll say print, um, try, um, type any part of the name to search. Because if your name is John, just type J. Everything about John will come out, John, Joseph, all those kind of things. All right, so here we'll turn this one to name. Then in the where clause, what we'll do, instead of ID, we'll make it a name. So we we'll now say where name. Okay, so we'll now say where name, not equal to anymore. We'll now say where name like okay so now say where name like we we'll put percentage to surround the the uh, placeholder so in single quotes so in single quotation quotation marks we we'll put um, percentage sign then go at the end of it that's after it like this then you type uh, also put double quotation marks and put uh, a percentage right there okay so like that Okay, so that is basically it. Okay, so what we need to now do is to, so which means that anything that pertains to a name, if it's John, if even if we type N, it will bring it up because it surrounds it. We are going to also see how you can type it from one side of it and so on. All right, so let's uh, run it and see how it looks. Okay, so if we run it now, uh, so if we run it, then type uh, part of the name. So, you know, we have things like Don Joe, John Doe and the rest. So let's type, uh, okay, let's type OM, because there's something like OMO there. So press enter. So once you press enter, what happens, I see that it prints everything about the person. Okay, so we only enter OM as part of the name. Okay, if you also enter OD, it will also print it out, or DE. All right, so it also prints it out. So now if I enter something like, uh, uh, what else is there? Okay, so if I enter F, uh, let me see. So you see that it doesn't bring anything out because there is no, nothing that has to do with F within the database table. All right, so type any part of the name to search. So if I type uh, something like um, uh, OD, so we also type, we also bring that out as you can see. So you see it right here. All right, so what we'll do now is there's a way to make it to uh, uh, show. So this is the information that we are dealing with. You know, so you can see the data here in the database. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that if it doesn't see the the name, it should bring out no record found. So if I type, you can see that I, I type a U. Uh, that's U. That's why U. It brings the entire thing out. Okay. So what we are going to do now is that now what this one means is that it surrounds the entire thing. That is the percentage surrounds all. So which means any part of the name that you type will show up. But you can also say, okay, what is at the right or what is at the left? Okay, so let me remove this one from the right, as you can see here. So if I run, it's going to give us a different thing. So if I type something like you, you now that I type before, it won't work because this one means that anything that is at the end should be what, what it should use to search. Okay, so you see that it didn't bring it out, as you can see. But if I if I run it again and I type, um, and I type G, it will bring it up because that is the end of the of the name. Okay, I hope that is clear. All right, so then that is the end. So if you remove this percentage sign and put it at the right and remove from the left, it will bring what is at the beginning. So in that, in the case of that uh, U and G, if you type U now, that's why U, it will bring the record out. So let's try it one more time. So if you type uh, Y U now, so it's going to bring See that I, I type Y I, it's not bringing it out. Okay, so if I run it again and I type, if I run it again and I type um, G I, it's not bringing it out because that is at the end. But we need to send at the beginning, which is uh, 
YU in that particular instance or in that particular table. So if you type OM now, it will bring it out because that is the beginning of that of that name. I hope that is clear. All right. So, but the, if it doesn't have any record, it should be able to show that there is no record found. For example, you should be able to indicate. For example, if I type something that doesn't exist, just like I said before. So let's implement that aspect now. If I type something that doesn't exist, like P, you see that it's saying that there's no record uh, found for your search. So this is uh, what is doing that is at line uh, line 15, 16. Uh, that is making that happen. So it searches, it's saying that if cursor dot row count is equal to zero, which means if it, didn't, if it doesn't find anything, let it print out no record found for your search. Otherwise, it will print the record. So that's basically how to retrieve data from database using Whitecast search in Python. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Like the video and share it. See you in another video.